Wow. 1996. Yeah. Because many people were, were used to using samples of the classic TR909, TR808. So everyone had a sample library. A couple of companies brought out analog uh, modules, which in a rack form, like the Novation Drum Station, which had you know, the tweakability yeah. of, of the drums. But nobody, nobody, re you know, apart from yourself, re realized that it wasn't just about the sounds. It wasn't just about being able to tweak them. It was about to be able to, re to, to really interact with them in a sequencer. Yeah, that's true. But to be clear, uh, it was about sound at the time because um, many people, it was the techno area, you know, after the wall fell down. Uh, uh, I did a lot of service for, for these uh, Berlin-based techno geeks and uh, uh, modified and repaired a lot of 909s and learned about the sound circuitries, learned about the punch uh, and uh, did my own modifications on the 909s and um, so that was, it was into being into the sound but yeah. then I considered after having done many modifications and many um, many really nice mods, I was very close to the to, to these guys and um, after all I decided to make my own instrument wanted it to have totally controllable and totally storable that was the approach by doing that I experienced okay if I control all these all these parameters mm. over the sequencer the first time I I played the kick drum with different pitches with different uh, decays and uh, it just it was just wow that's another dimension. It's yeah. uh, it's it's uh, it's another instrument. Yes, you can play jazz with it. <laughs> you can yeah, play absolutely. a bass line with it, and yeah. uh, that's definitely what, what what drew me in with it. It was it was just that you seem to squeeze so much more out of that circuitry and expanded it in almost yeah. absolutely every way. Yeah, yeah. To, to to create as you said. Unfortunately, it, it was considered to be a clone, but it really, that, it really in fact, I didn't do a clone. No, no, it was so much more. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And expanded, like yeah, as you yeah, say, yeah. in every way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. being able to program uh, every parameter yeah. on, on the synth, yeah. oh, it's fantastic. And yeah. yeah, it's a liberating experience. If you ever get, well, of course. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Um, maybe wait until the uh, the gong sort of like simmers down a bit. Um, if you could hear that, there's a, a huge gong uh, pretty much next to us. Uh, I think that was Look Mum No Computer, maybe giving us uh, the rank gong in his underpants. Um, Jürgen, that is incredible. So thank you. From my, from my Expo So9 with its three analog voices yes. and its, its one uh, channel, 12 bit samples? No, 8 bit eight sam samples. 8 bit samples. 8 bit samples. Which are stacked up in, into one sequencer yeah. to. Oh, wow. I mean, it's grown up. There's, you said there's an FM synthesizer in there as well. Yeah, there is a processor in there and, yeah. and there's yeah. a DSP as well. But these. These uh, circuits are still analog, yes, for sure. Yes, it, it wouldn't be Joe Mox. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be Joe Mox if it wasn't analog. That is, uh, that's insane. Um, superb, uh, great sequencer again. And you, and I, I, I really like the fact that you are muting tracks. Yep. Yeah, you, can you, just, you just push the knobs and then the track is muted. We have these two true analog instruments. That's a kick drum, that I know, but ever since the 09 there has happened quite a lot, you know. I have gate time, which the 09 didn't have. I can adjust the, uh, the preciseness or the gate time of the click. The noise of the attack can be adjusted separately, but uh, uh, there's even metal noise. Oh, 
for most applications that might be too strong, but you can do that if you want. And I have this EQ, this EQ section, which makes the uh, which makes the kick drum softer and uh, smoother, nice. uh, and it's placed after the VCA, yeah. and the harmonics is placed before the VCA. That's the miracle, you know, because uh, the harmonics is not just an overdrive. It's it's making the uh, the VCO shape more like a bell, you know. Oh, wow. it, it, it yeah. drives. But the X bass on end had this already. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, Sorry. And that's so. a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> that's but a keeper. Twenty years later. Right. Right. That's right, a right, keeper. Right. 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 Yeah. Uh, listen to this. That's with harmonics. That's full harmonics. Yes. That's without harmonics. Okay. Range is improved a bit to the X bass on nine. Um, the M brain, which is a percussion analog synthesizer. It's 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 based. It's, it's, it's created from uh, two resonating filters right. that are combinable. I, I call it coupling. You know, it's meant to be like a drum skin, like two drum skins ah, of an acoustic yes. drum, yeah. and they intermodulate each other. Yes. So you can create um, percussion like sounds. Okay, now I do a little coupling. Oh, wow, sorry. This is without coupling. This is with coupling. I don't. I don't know of anything that does that. <laughs> yeah. That sounds great. And I can even fourth and back coupling it. That makes it like a. Then oh. it sounds like this, you know, like a fart. <laughs> 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 this is the most expensive fart machine. <laughs> uh, I'm sold. I'll have five. <laughs> But if you go negatively uh, yeah. with a uh, reverse coupling, um, yeah. it'll sound like more like a drum skin. Yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. Right now, um, we're just hearing the kick drum and the M brain. So that was just the analog, analog. voices. Yes, so that's right, without. Right, right, right. I mean, <laughs> you get you get the straight <laughs> sounds you would expect from an analog drum synthesizer, and then you get this whole palette of rich, a rich palette of colors that you can throw in. Uh, okay, purely in the analog. That's, okay, and I can try to make another kick drum with the M brain because the range is so okay. far. You can go very low, so you can obtain almost like 808 style. Because it's a decaying uh, filter oh, envelope, you know. Yeah, I tried that. Okay, okay. let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. Different thing, but uh, yeah, it's two but different kicks, you know. Absolutely usable as well. I mean, yeah. thoroughly, thoroughly good. Okay. So this is available. To this purchase. is available now. Since, uh, it's more than a year. Excellent. So, uh, and if you do get a chance to play with one of these guys, seriously check it out. <laughs> I'm going to speak sweetly to Jurgen and okay. see if I can get a, a copy for a, for a deep dive. Uh, okay. Really interested you, in you the shall expanded. Have one. Thank you. Oh, that's very kind <laughs> okay. of you. Loving. I mean, I I, I expect excellence. <laughs> 
in the analog synth department with the Joe yeah. Marks, and, and it is incredible. I'm not disappointed with that. What I love is that you don't just accept the fact that that's what it is, that you've got DSP power left, and it's like, well, what can I do? Well, I'll throw this in there. Now, you might think that. I think <laughs> what genius that is to actually, and certainly in a, in, a, in a realm where the digital world is suddenly rising again, having the absolute best of both to create things that aren't mainstream, to get a little bit more creative, a little bit more avant-garde. Brilliant. Jürgen, thank you very much for bringing us the Alpha Base. Okay. It's been an absolute pleasure it was to, an honor to me. have you on the couch. Uh, I'll do a future feature, future feature on this, okay. and, uh, and signing out from TSR 19. Thank Bye. you very much. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>